Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here and today I have a layout for Tracy Reed Designs and it is oldie but a goodie and we are using the Rooted Collection. So this is an older collection. I'll have in the description box below a link to Tracy's shop so if you want to go and check out this collection I believe it is on sale so you can grab it and um, get it for a good price. I did do some work off camera to start my layout because I wanted to add some stitching to this page. So I have a piece of um, kind of like a gray blue cardstock that is going to frame my layout. And then I took a piece of white cardstock and I took several of the hearts. I want to say, I'm not sure if these are from the digital or the sticker sheet. I, I think these are from the digital. Um, or they might be from the sticker sheet, I'm not sure. But either way, I took the individual files into Canva and made a whole bunch of parts in different sizes. So they're not all the same size, they're kind of varied in size. And so I started with those, and then I decided to do some stitching on the top half of my page. So I took some black stitching, um, I went to my sewing machine, which I can't, um, it's not in a spot where I can film, so um, that's why I wanted to do a little bit of work beforehand and add that stitching down the center of my um, hearts. So that is going to be at the top of my page. Now, once I did that, I did come in with a stamp and this is um, from Journals for Life and it is this um, sequin kind of stamp right here. I took that and some stone blue um, Catherine Pooler ink, which coordinates really well, especially with the stone blue color that's in this collection. So if you're looking for an ink to match the blue, I highly suggest that one. Um, I did a little bit of stamping here at the top. I'm going to add a little bit of stamping down here on the bottom once I figure out um, sort of placement. So I did stamping for that, and then I also just stamped two little sentiments, which I'll hold them up here, on two of the labels. Um, from this collection with some other stamps from my stash. I'll show those to you. This one's a close to my heart, um, really old stamp. And this is an old uh, honeybee stamp as well. So I used both of these to just add um, those little sentiments. And then I have my photo here, which is of one of our cats. And this is Shadow. And then I had have just some scraps. Um, in two of the colors and I'm going to map my photo with these scraps um, and my photo is going to go down here on this page um, down here at the bottom so these will be matted around this photo that you see here and I'm pretty sure um, we're going to go with the photo here at this end so I'll have some matting down here so I think I want to come in and probably do a little bit of stamping here and I know I'm going to have an embellishment cluster here, so I'll add a little bit of stamping here. And then I do believe I'm going to have an embellishment cluster here, so I'll do a little bit of stamping here as well. I think that'll be it for the two places that I'm going to add stamping. Um, I do have off to the side um, some embellishments. These are a combination of the sticker sheet and the digital kit. Um, again, I took all of the individual files into Canva, sized them up, and then I fussy cut all of these. So um, I typically do that with most collections because I like to be able to resize the things. So uh, in addition to this work that you see that I've already done, I did go ahead and create my title. And I have my letters all done out here. I did die cut these and then I stacked uh, three layers on top of each other. Um, and so the wood grain paper is actually the wood grain paper from the collection. Now I will say in the collection it is a lighter um, wood grain than um, what it appears on my layout here. My printer was having a hard time um, recognizing or getting the color right for this particular wood grain, I have to play with it a little bit more. So mine is definitely darker, I think, than what was in the intended color for um, the wood grain in this particular collection, but we're gonna go with it. And then I have some more um, letters die cut out here to the side, which are hard to pick up, um, that are using the green pattern paper 
from this collection. So um, I will put this title down, which is going to be Attack or Kitten Attack or Attack Kitten. I think Kitten Attack um, is what I plan to call this layout. And yes, <laughs> the reason for that being is uh, this particular scratching post, both our cats um, were very much um, into attacking it. Um, like they would go after this scratching post and they would attack it, at you know, and make their feet hit the balls and then they would like attack the scratching post piece. It was quite funny. They've since torn this one apart. Um, so this doesn't even have, we don't even have this one anymore. Um, but yeah, they definitely would attack this on a regular basis. So it was quite funny. So that is what we're going with for a title. And the Rooted Collection is actually... Um, I think originally Tracy had created it for, um, for the fact that she likes plants and, um, has quite a green thumb from what I can tell. Um, I, however, am not, <laughs> I don't have plants. I don't have a green thumb. I can't keep them alive. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that I showcase this collection as being able to scrapbook just about anything. In this case, I am scrapbooking pets. Um, but this is a great collection uh, for masculine layouts. If you're looking for sort of more of the um, earth tones, muted colors, it's a great one for sort of a masculine feel also. There is some pink in the collection, so uh, you certainly could uh, have it lean toward the feminine or the masculine. Um, but yeah, it's a great, very versatile collection. You can definitely scrapbook all different um, themes with this one. So be sure to check that out. So what I'm going to do is off camera, I am going to go ahead and do that little bit of stamping, map my photo, get my background down on my blue card stock, and I'm going to also place my title down on the page, which I do, um, or I can tell you that my title is going to go right here on this page as I lay out at least this part. But this is a bit tedious, so I'm not going to make you watch this part. But that is where my title is going to go, and Kitten will go above that. Um, like I said, I know I'm going to have an embellishment cluster here, and then my plan is to have another one here. So hence, I'm going to add a little bit more stamping on those two spots on the layout. And then um, I have the embellishments already pulled, so it'll just be a matter of when I come back, adding the embellishment clusters, kind of laying out um, what I chose for those. And then I have some finishing touches with possibly some sequins and some e little gems and jewels. Everything is down for this layout. My title is on and I did pop my photo up so it does give a little lift to the page. Now, like I said, I'm going to come in with all those embellishments and I'm going to have a cluster here and a cluster down here. Um, Everything is already done at the top of the page, so I don't need to add anything um, down here or up there for that, since um, my embellishing is all of those hearts, which I really love how they turned out on the page. So I'm just playing with some florals. I kept this one pretty simple with the embellishments, nothing too uh, wild and crazy. Um, didn't need to add a whole lot, like I said, to this page, I think, um, with the um, stitching and stuff at the top that really um, sort of makes the page in and of itself. So I didn't have to add a whole lot. And then I have just the same types of embellishments um, for it down here. So I'm going to go ahead and just place these down on the page and... I did add, like I said, a little bit more of that stamping so that I can get um, that um, extra little element added to the page, which I really do like um, how that turns out. And let's see, put another butterfly here, and then a little, little heart in here, I think. So yeah, most of these florals came from the digital. I do have a few items. Those glitter hearts also came from the digital kit. Um, so yeah, I have a good mix on this page. Um, and so definitely if 
um, you get a chance, go and check out the shop and grab this collection. Like I said, it's a great one. You can definitely use it to scrapbook just about anything. Um, and I think, unless I put it over here, I might put it over here. We have one more butterfly. I'm just trying to decide where that's going to go, but it's going to go somewhere there. And then I was thinking I was going to put in the center of these florals. I thought it might be fun to put these gems. Um, just because there is a gem on the paper. So this kind of plays off that um, idea. So I'm thinking I will, at least for these ones, add those gems. And then I have these other little gems that I thought I would just place. Everything's not glued down, so I'm placing these, but I might end up moving them. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to put these in each embellishment cluster, just adding that little extra sparkle with these little gems. Um, the only thing I'm thinking, I thought about adding some sequins, but I think with the gems and everything, I want to keep this page relatively simple, and so I think I like... Um, that right there. So be sure to check the blog. I'll also have that in the description box below. There will be some other inspiration from some other design team members and how they use this collection. Um, and so with that, guys, still photos will be coming up next, and I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.